Scared you, didn't I? Nope, I'm not some flesh-eating zombie that's out to woo all your daughters. This is just fake movie blood, and today, you'll learn how to make it as well. Calvin? Hey there, thanks for joining me today on the Mad Scientist's Labs of Creations. Um, today, we're, I'm going to teach you how to make some blood, some fake movie blood. I'm well aware that you can just go on Google and search fake movie blood and find the recipe there, but I'm also aware that no one likes to read anymore. This is the 21st century. People like to have things read to them, or not read at all. So, I'm going to help you make fake movie blood. The ingredients you'll need are some corn syrup, corn starch, water, some red dye and some green dye, something to measure everything with, some spoons to measure everything with, a container to keep it all in, and if you want, you can have some peppermint extract to give it a peppermint-like taste. So, I have my safety gloves on. You don't need safety gloves. I just need safety gloves because I have a hot date after this. I can't get red dye all over it. It'll come out, but, you know. Nah, yeah. So anyways, let's begin. First, we need to put the cornstarch in the bottle. So you'll need about a few, few tablespoons. Um, it's, it depends on how much you want to make, really. Fill it up a bit. We don't fill it up, but let's get the thing here. Right, see, I got it in here. You put it. You can put it in with this. See, it's filled with water. You put in about as much water because for the bottle, a third of the water, third of the bottle is about how much water you want to do, and then the two thirds will be the corn syrup that's later. So you just put a, just put some corn starch. You know, you can um, kind of eyeball it. I usually don't eyeball it. I'm professional. I do this. Usually, I can just buy movie blood at the professional stores or have one of my servants make it for me. But I just want to show that I am a people person and I'm just like you, only rich and talented and successful. So, put it, I think that's enough. Mix it in. Use one of these small ones. Mix it. So now that it's mixed, Put it into the water bottle. Now this blood will look very realistic so you can scare people. And if you want to sue policemen for excessive abuse, you can pretend to cough this up when they lightly touch you. Yeah. So I have the corn starch and the water mixed in. Now you put the corn syrup. This stuff is very, well it's called syrup for a reason. You put it in. See? It's just like chemistry class uh, without the annoying lab partners. You fill it up until it's almost full of blood. This will give it a very sticky feel to it, like actual blood. Alright, that should be good. So I'm going to cap this and I will shake it. You have to mix it. Now again, usually I've made the servants to do this, but you know. Alright, so when you're done mixing, now is the time to put in the food coloring. Obviously, as you know, blood is red. You can put different colors in if you want, depending on what you're trying to make. The alien has, I think, green blood, the, or blue blood, I don't remember. I haven't talked to aliens recently. So, you just put a few drops in, or maybe not more than a few drops. Mix it in, and then you shake it. You know, you can just guess, pretty much. You're smart. Not as smart as me, but... So, yours shouldn't be too much worse than mine. Of course, mine's always perfect. So, when you're done mixing it, you can tell it's too bright. Blood is not this bright of red. And so that is what the green dye is for. You add the green dye, and that will darken the colors. A few drops. Do the trick. And you mix this as well. There we go, that seems pretty dark. Um, I've heard that you can put in a 
cocoa powder, and that will make it, so when it dries, it dries like actual blood or it leaves residue. That's optional, you don't have to. You can also, instead of cornstarch, I heard you can put milk, but I prefer to put cornstarch. And now finally, we're gonna put the peppermint extract. This is just, this is just an optional, just for, you know, to make it taste, to make it so it doesn't taste like corn syrup, cornstarch and water. Just put it in, uh, quarter of a teaspoon, not very much, it's very strong stuff. I had a friend who was dared to do to drink a bottle of this and um, he died. It was, it was kind of, it was, it was more funny than tragic, but put it in. Now it'll taste minty. This is for, I, I prefer it, uh, I don't accept any other blood in my mouth unless it tastes like mint. They put in any other thing. I. I fire them on the spot, whoever made it. So you just mix that as well. And that is how you make movie blood. It's very realistic. Let's try it out. Alright, let's try out this movie blood that we just made. Now, I don't suggest you drink it, but if I doubt anything bad will happen. Hey, guys at Jackass, you should be friends with me because I'm stupid like you. So have you ever seen that movie Carrie? Well, they use pig blood for that final scene, but you can use this stuff too. Ah! I thought I was the prom queen. I thought you guys liked me. I know. I'll kill you all. That'll solve my problems. Okay, so thanks for joining me at the Mad Scientist's Cooking Lab. I think uh, that's a different title than I said in the beginning, but it's changed. Um, have a great day and have fun with your blood.